This is a demonstration of the general purpose input and output devices found on the I2C bus. NXP's general purpose input-output expanders are a simple, cost-effective way to monitor and control several peripheral signals. They connect to a microprocessor via a bi-directional I2C interface and the portfolio expands from 4 to 40 pins. NXP is the industry leader in I2C general purpose I.O. expanders and offers a broad selection of cost-effective, easy-to-use options with different numbers of I.O.s. Various output drive current and voltage tolerances and the devices come in a wide range of features and package options. The portfolio includes devices which may drive up to 25 milliamps per output. NXP GPIO expanders are found in a multitude of applications including computing, mobile and industrial control. NXP's GPIO expanders are classified into three different groups according to the output structure type. Quasi output, totem pole or push-pull output, and open drain output. Quasi output ports are easy to use since they can be configured as an input or an output without the need of a port configuration register. However, they only have a weak current source pull-up to keep the port high and cannot source more than 100 microamps per output. Totem pole outputs consist of upper and lower transistors and are ideal for fast switching applications. They have steep rising and falling edge transitions which each output stage is required to source or sync between 10 milliamps to 25 milliamps of current. Open drain outputs are only capable of syncing current and rely on an external pull-up resistor to drive the line high. Under heavy capacitive loading conditions, they have slower rising edge transitions compared to the totem pole and quasi output types, which have fast rising edges. NXP offers a family of 8-bit and 16-bit quasi output expanders with different features including reset, interrupt, and EEPROM. Quasi outputs are totem pole outputs that sync and source current, but source current strongly for only one half of a clock cycle and use an internal 100 microamp current source to maintain the pin high. The quasi outputs allow the I.O. pin to be used with either an input or an output without any configuration control. Totem pole outputs actively source or sync the I.O. directly to VCC or to ground and do not rely upon a current source or pull-up resistor to provide the continuous source current. Since the totem pole output are more complex, they require a configuration register that is used to configure each bit as an input or as an output. Four sets of registers are programmable and configure the bit as an input or an output with polarity inversion and then also record the input and output values. Those slightly more complex, these newer devices provide greater flexibility for the designer and offer it in smaller packages. Open drain outputs have no upper PMOS transistor and are only capable of syncing current. The PCA9535 has no pull-up transistor, but the PCF8575 has a pull-up transistor which is turned on only during the rising edge transition and for only half a clock cycle to help the pull the line high. To drive a static high, both devices rely on an external pull-up resistor. Additionally, the PCA9574, 9575 and 9698 are 8-bit, 16-bit and 40-bit totem pole GPIO expanders that can be configured to turn off the upper PMOS transistor and use an open drain devices. The open drain devices have the additional benefit that they may be used in wired AND configurations. Further, they allow no current flow through the parasitic diodes or LEDs when operated on different power supply voltages with one supply turned off. GPI expanders may also have an interrupt pin that are asserted low when an external change in an I.O. pin is detected. For totem pole devices, the port pin must have been configured as an input, and for devices that are interrupt maskable, the port must not be masked. For quasi bidirectional or open drain I.O., a right sequence to the device does not generate an interrupt. NXP supports its GPIO expanders with several evaluation modules and demo boards that can be used to develop software and evaluate performance of the devices. The I2C 2005-1 evaluation board 
is an I2C-based system that allows field application engineers, designers, and educators to use their personal computer to easily test, demonstrate, and experiment with I2C bus interface devices. The demonstration board is a valuable training tool that allows multiple operations to be performed in a setting similar to a real system environment. The board supports a maximum I2C bus speed of 400 kilohertz. The I2C bus FM Plus development kit and associated GPIO daughter cards provide a quick way to learn about the devices and the I2C protocol. The cards are modular, so they may increase design flexibility while providing easy access to the expander's I.O. pins. The board supports a maximum I2C bus speed of 1 MHz.